So here I am. It is the 14th of June, 2014, and we're saying goodbye to the house on the corner of Anaconda and Avenue 16 and a half, 37450, Avenue 16 and a half, a house that I've lived in since 19, well, either the latter part of 1979 or the early part of 1980. I think it was before Emily was even born. A lot of things have changed. Like this, uh, the addition of this uh, 400 square foot garage. Dad had that put in, I don't know, five, six, I don't know how many years ago. But uh, this is where the ponds used to fill up. There's the dead end. Out that way on a good day, which is not today in the middle of summer, but uh, you can see the Sierra Nevada mountain range very well. This pond used to really fill up used to flow along here and then underneath the road. Our pond would fill up, cross the driveway here, and run down over there into that drainage. So anyway, we used to have the raft. We used to float the raft out there. A lot of eucalyptus trees out here. These are newer eucalyptus trees. We have quite a few dogs that have been buried here by this pine tree. Dad loves this garage. It's rare to see it this clean, but uh, we're leaving tomorrow, so. Anyway, there's uh, Lily's garden that Dad made, and Lily has grown up playing in the garden over time. The house has been painted, I think maybe just once, from a dark burgundy red color to this lighter color. It's much better now. So, uh, this is something that Dad put in not too long ago. This was a fire pit. He took the old um, water pump that we used to get our water from and cut it and buried it, sunk it in the ground at least, and then used some old wood he got from his high school gym. Those were the uh, benches they used to sit on in the gym. Anyway, there's birdhouses all around. That may be, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe an owl box or a bat box. That's new to me. So, this fencing was replaced with this kind of vinyl stuff. It used to be rough chunks of wood. This is much sturdier and cleaner. So, this house has been around. I mean, the... Uh, Brick facade here has cracks in it from the Kalinga quake of like 82, 83. Um, this used to be just a regular sidewalk that ran from the front door to the driveway, or the yeah, the little concrete driveway there. But uh, at one point, Scott and I put this in. I, I think it was Scott's first summer when he moved down here. We put in this paver set. We didn't know what the hell we were doing, but you know, it actually, it's okay. It's got some bumps in it, but I think it looks pretty nice. The roof is relatively new, and we have the turtle pin out here. This is turtle pin number two. The original turtle pin used to be over here, and it just wasn't working very well. The uh, turtles had no problem going underneath the tiny one-foot-tall fence and getting out. So Dad and I, at some point, um, buried these, um, or again, sunk these two by four, or um, sorry, railroad ties in the ground. And even though they've come up here, dug up all the way, um, this still was a much better um, place to put the turtles. Uh, this little wooden patio thing here, this is reclaimed, I think, redwood from my second office of Spline Motion. They had some really big pieces in there. We took those and chopped them up out there in the field right about there was where I used to shoot off model rockets from I had a dream of taking this entire area and turning it into uh, Cape Canaveral to scale and this is Lily's Crab Shack this was all done when Lily was right as she was being born and then as she grew to one year old we had her one year birthday party out here. The castle is a relatively new addition. 
This is the crab shack. And nice little uh, cover there. Dad built all this. There's a sandbox. Treasure chest sandbox. Pirate ship. Little climbing wall. The skeleton. Little climbing wall and um, a bouncy bridge. Little lookout point there. And uh, out there, I'm not sure if they're still there. Oh, they are. Goats and chickens. The goats and chickens have lived out there for a long time. We've had a cow and a sheep and potbelly pigs. and Apparently, Dad had a parrot for a while. I don't think I was here when the parrot was here. Got to remember to take down the uh, Wilhelm Brau sign. And now we have three dogs here. We've had many, many dogs over the years. We have a Franklin, a Roxy, and a Sarge. Very good puppies. Very bouncy. Uh, the spa, this hot tub, was put in after Mom and Dad found $500 cash in a parking lot. The backyard has become kind of a wild area with all the trees and things that go on here. Dad kind of finished this up recently. And that was the original fort. That fort, shh, quiet. That fort um, used to be up on stilts. And then I cut it down one at some point, tried to turn it into a uh, train barn, but never got too far. Um, Dad used to have, used to try, to, well, he tried for one year. He tried growing hops out here. I think it turned out okay, but he's pulled that entire thing up. And uh, this used to fill up with water as well. So yeah, there's still chickens out there and still goats. So this is kind of a tour of the property. I don't really need to go. I might go inside for a minute, but I'm gonna miss this place. It's gone through some changes and it's got some very interesting kind of eclectic things happening and that's why we, uh, we have so much fun out here and we're gonna miss it. So it was a great place. We had, you know, a fire out in the field that we started one time accidentally. Um, what else? No one can forget the great party of 94 that I'm still reminded of every now and then. Um, we've had many, many Halloween parties here. Indian guides. And uh, lots of kids playing here. We've climbed many, many of these trees at some point. But now we're on to new adventures. The adventures of Central Oregon. I'm currently living in Bend with Katie. Mom and Dad are living, going to be living in Terrebonne, which is about 30, 40 minutes north of Bend. That's a whole new adventure. And maybe we'll take some shots of the new house when we get there. 